Jay, on the floor of the AEA 2010 Convention and Trade Show, obviously everybody's out here trying to impress the folks from the community w with what they have. Flight Display Stock and Trade is not only providing a tremendous amount of value for the dollar, but obviously the expertise that goes behind it. Give me a little bit of background on flight display systems and why you're where you are right now, especially as uh, this industry is struggling to recover. Uh, flight Display Systems has been in business for about uh, eight or nine years and we entered this market to be the price performance leader where we looked at all the prices for avionics equipment and cabin entertainment and it was really expensive and we determined that we could come up with just as good products at a much better price and over the last six or seven years we've evolved for having our our own moving map display to having our own monitors to having our own HD monitors, our own DVD players. We're doing a lot of aircraft special mission work. And as the economy has turned down, what has happened is, since we have a more economical products, which are just as good as everybody else, we have found that our market and our portion of the business has grown. A significant thing that's happened to us is last year, Aviation International News rated us number one in product support which means we have the best prices in the industry and we're number one in product support. And that's really a significant item for all of our customers. When they have cabin entertainment equipment and a CEO is flying in the airplane, they want stuff that works and good customer service. And obviously a lot of engineering talent because I would imagine every installation has its own unique assets. Yes, and, and one of our fortes as a small company is that we don't say no to anything if you come to us with a special application, depending on the size of the job, we'll work on it. As a matter of fact, we're finding a lot of the uh, large military complex organizations are starting to ask us to work on projects now because the big guys only want to work on projects that cost millions of dollars. And if it's something that's three or four hundred thousand, we're developing quad screen, NVG, uh, all kinds of new products. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com. Obviously, the displays you're talking about, you're interfacing to an awful lot of information and technologies. Can you kind of give me a sample or a range of the kind of information that you're displaying, the technologies you're having to acquaint yourself with? First of all, in the cabin entertainment world, we're doing uh, DVD players, we're doing uh, moving maps. We were the first company to market HD monitors. We have a complete line of HD monitors, 1080p, from 17 inches all the way up to 52. We were the first company to market with a Blu-ray player specifically designed for airplanes. And one of the unique applications for that is the HD monitors needed HD, but many of these older airplanes have small seat monitors that have a thing called composite, which is what typically what a DVD player does. So we've got a Blu-ray player that sends Blu-ray to Blu-ray monitors and composite the seat monitors. And again, we were the first ones. So that was one unique application. The other thing we're doing what's a little different on the smaller cabin class airplanes, we have a three channel wireless headset so that you could put a DVD player and monitors, have 10 seats on the airplane, you could put on a wireless headset with different channels and you don't need to run any wires in the airplane, so it makes for a very simple installation. What are you seeing trend wise right now as we're getting well into 2010? What's hot, what's not and why? Well, what we saw for a number of months in the downturn is that the uh, retrofit airplane sales were down. Uh, it was sort of like the, air, the housing market where people could see great value in buying a used airplane, but they didn't know if the bottom had been reached in the market yet, so they were holding off on buying. We're finding some of those operators believe that the bottom has dropped out in the airplane market, and they're picking up airplanes at a significantly good price. And when they buy an airplane for a really good price, they've got more money in their pocket. And now they're looking to do some upgrades or some retrofits to the airplane. So we're seeing that market is, is starting to pick up. 
and they're wanting to put in HD to make their airplanes like what they have at home. So we see it slowly starting to pick up. Integra Release 9 sets a new standard with the easiest to use pilot interface in all of general aviation. Access to any of Release 9's powerful capabilities is as simple as pressing the desired bi-directional page key. Pressing the same key in a desired direction navigates to the clearly labeled tabs with no more guessing as to what a given pilot input would do. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology and the easiest to use page and tab user interface is just one of the many benefits designed to make your flying easier and safer. Now obviously you can't run down to Radio Shack and pick up a monitor and throw it in your airplane. There's a, it's a whole different ball game. What kind of technologies are in vogue in regards to making these things not only safe but capable and durable in an aircraft's environment? Well, a couple of things. First of all, if you're going to put cabin entertainment in an aircraft now, it needs to be certified for an airplane. One of the reasons is a few years ago there were some fires on some airplanes where some people got hurt and it was they were putting commercial off the shelf. So all our monitors have Lexan, they're all in metal cases. For the bigger monitors, we have a big ball strike test where it where a big ball strikes against the monitor to make sure it won't break. We have to do burn tests. We have to check them at different altitudes so if there's a rapid decompression that nothing happens. So that when these monitors are in the airplane, absolutely nothing's going to happen to cause a fire or a short circuit. And that helps to drive up the price. But people want to fly in an airplane knowing they've got safe hardware. What do you see as a trend for the future? Do you see any inclinations at this point about where this is going to go? Well, for our, we have a cabin management system now that we've just started to sell. It's been shipped for some G2s, G3, G4s, and some 737s. We see everything going to touchscreens. We see everything going to Blu-ray players, HD monitors. We see all the cabin entertainment equipment in the aircraft ending up just like the owner at his house. I'll tell you what, when I buy my next 737, I'll have to give you a call. Okay, sounds good. Jay, thanks so much for your time.